it's this one's called Sunset and it's about foxes. So why did you write this story? Well, um, I had read a book called Foxcraft. I might show you at the end of the video if I grab it. And then when I was over there, I just thought of really cool names and I figured out what my story could be about. So I just started writing it all on my piece of paper. Because you like writing, don't you? Yes. I like writing a lot. And, so and what's your favourite thing in the world to do? Drawing? No. Try again. Writing? No. Reading! I read pretty much every night, although mum always knows she always, she doesn't have to look at my room, she doesn't have to know that I'm reading, she's just like, she always knows me, she's just like, Lily, put the book down, and I'm like, oh, but sometimes I secretly put the book down, and then I read a lot in the mornings too, until like 7.40, until I have to get to school, and let's start with my book, I wrote it on the 11th of the 5th, this year, 2022, um, Let's get started. If you haven't, if you didn't remember the name, it's called Sunset. Sunset, midnight, and sunshine. A uh, fox lady. Foxes lady. There are only one human year. There are eight fox years. Mom, I sulked. Midnight is pouncing on me. I won't stop. Midnight smiled. Get off your sister, Mom told Midnight. He ran off to chase sunshine. Honey, blind. Midnight is just trying to annoy you. She is a very wise woman, my mum. I know. I replied. Go along now, don't do anything I wouldn't, she joked. I laughed as I ran off to chase a butterfly. This butterfly is three shades of blue. No, three shades and three shades of hot oh, blue and two shades of purple. Dinner, Mum called out to me and my fox wings. I think I have time to go grab a daisy to give to Mum before I go to my den. I grabbed a daisy and turned to see Dad's face. Come on now, my little sunset. We don't want to worry mum now, do we? Dad said. No, we don't. No, we don't, I agreed. Can I make cheesecake for dessert? I asked. No, but you can give us all dumplings. He raised his eyebrows. He knows dumplings are my favourite. Well, come on then, let's have tea so I can make them sooner. I chuckled, 11 metres from the den. Yeah, eight minutes. No, eight metres. I'm in the den and Dad follows me in. That big smile, smile can be my highlight, Mum says, grinning. We all sat at the wooden table. After dinner, can I make cake? Sunshine asked. Mum looked at Dad. No, Sunset is making dumplings. He looked my way. Yum! Midnight and Sunshine said in unison right before giggling like hyenas. Let's eat so the Sunshine can start. Sooner, Mum added to the conversation. Then the familiar sound of paws down to Sunset's ears. The next morning, Sunset awoke to the sound of blue wren singing in the distance. Dad, can I go outside to play? I asked Dad. Mum sighed to strain and midnight thoughtfully. I guess so, he said. The sun is good for you, Dad added. Thanks, I said, pleased with a chance to go outside. Some butterflies fluttered past my face. After I entered the fresh air, I paused, I think. Rabbit, I muttered, pleased with the ability of smelling things far away. Once I had seen a rabbit, I hunted it. Wow, that looked easy for you, Sunshine said, as she walked to stand beside me. Yeah, have, ha, have, oh, yeah, have some, I offered, tossing her the rest. Yum, thanks, sis, Sunshine thanked me after she had finished it. Can you fish with me? We, Sunshine asked. Mum says you have to take me or I can't go, she added. Sure, I can pick the wildflowers that grow there, I agreed, glad at the sight of Sunshine's beaming face. The water went rippling to our feet as we made the rock trap. Then I left Sunshine to fish while I crept further into the room and <laughs> to examine some flowers. Everything went black. Voices. Only Mum did and midnight, I see, as I wake up, uh, as I wake. Where is this? I asked, alarmed. What happened? I asked. Sunshine got killed by the wolf of death. I'm sorry. Tears filled everyone's eyes. No, I whispered. I ran. I ran to the wolf of death. Ha ha ha. Why are you here, you little rat? The wolf asked with big eyes. Never kill my sister. I screamed. 
He had pain as I shoved a fork into his skull. Dead. Breathless. No one messes with me, I thought. I ran into the sunset. I felt my sister's spirit following me and I smiled. Because I had just killed the unkillable. Where was I heading? I was heading home. And that is my favourite story. And I really like it. Except apparently according to mum, the, the, the fork in the skull sounds a bit over-vicious. Violent. Violent, yes, I suppose. This is Boxcraft. As you can see, there's a little fox on it. It's by In Bali Israels. Okay, yep. And it's this part of it is called The Taking. On the blurb it says, I am fearless, I am friendly, I am friendless, I am fox. Isla and her brother Pierce are two young foxes living just outside the land of the feralist humans. The life of fox is full of dangers, but Isla has begun to learn to mysterious skills meant to help her survive. Then the unthinkable happens. Returning to her den, Isla finds it ablaze and surrounded by strange foxes, and her family is nowhere in sight. Forced to flee, she escapes into the cold, grey world of furless. Now Isla must navigate this wily and deadly terrain, all while she has been hunt hunted by a ruthless enemy. In order to survive, she needs will need to master the ancient arts of her kind, magical gifts of cunning known only to foxes. She must unravel the secrets of foxcraft.